feel like I'm falling in love all over again. Your music, your voice is wonderful. I'm with songwriter and singer Jason Reeves. Hi, thank Hi. you. Thank you for being on the show. Over the lights of sunset and vine, we're floating away from the fortune and fame. And you're... What I read from online is that you were, you know, in college when you just decided to just leave and come to California and pursue music, right? Yeah. That was a good decision. <laughs> that, that must have been really crazy because it's like that's where you're born and raised and all of a sudden you just want to follow this passion. Like, was there anything specific that made you just want to leave at that time? And I got a call from a producer that was pretty much all that happened. He asked me if I wanted to come out and record and I said yes. I didn't think I was going to stay or anything. I, I thought it would be like a four day trip and I ended up staying. I met a girl named Colby and... Colby Kelly. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I never left. I just stayed there and I've, I've been living in L.A. for five years. So then you must be a really amazing songwriter. You've written songs for Colby, you've written songs for a bunch of other people. Do you write it down? Do you like film yourself performing the songs? And like, How do you capture them? Um, record. I just record it on any sort of audio recording device, you know, because I'll immediately forget if I'm not... If I'm not recording it, there's probably a 90% chance it'll just be gone, which is a shame. And you're really good at playing and remembering music by ear, right? I read online that your music teacher growing up was... She was blind, yeah. yeah. She was blind. She couldn't teach me how to read music necessarily because mm -hmm. she couldn't read music. You know, the whole approach to it was through the sound of it and the feel of it, which was, I think, very important for the way I do it now because I don't know how to read music still. Okay, you play drums, and I know you also play piano and guitar. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about playing the guitar? Guitar, wow. I should. I think I need to like work up to it. That's so cool <laughs> or crazy, one of the two, that I need to earn it. So I know that you also co-wrote Bubbly with Kobe Calais. What mm -hmm. makes, who rather makes you wiggle your toes <laughs> and crinkle your nose? Oh, she wrote that line, that's all. Yeah, her. sure she did. <laughs> she did. I. I wasn't the one that came up with that line. I'm not going to try to take credit for it, <laughs> although it, it's a good line, you know. So a lot of your music has to do with love and, I guess, loss of love. Where do you get your inspiration from? Is it from personal experience? It's definitely all real. It's um, mostly immediately inspired, you know. I, mm. I usually write about exactly what's happening. A lot of the songs are about wanting it. You know, Bubbly is a song about wanting love. And, and a lot of the songs I write, too, are just about that idea that you'll get it. You know that it, if you if you try, you'll get it. Oh, and